we're back you guys. So here we are at the school, everything is creepy and nothing makes sense. <laughs> this is the old school building. I'm starting to get worried. I gotta find Miss Hayama soon. Standing all the way out here isn't gonna help. Well, I believe it will. Makes me wonder, though. Why would Mr. Ja Hajama have come by here while, while running home? It's an awfully big detour. <coughs> oh, crap. Okay. <coughs> Huh? Miss Hayama! And he said that that person was not here. What are you doing out here? Miss Hayama, did you manage to get a hold of the principal Uraba yesterday? I called the hotel he said he was going to be staying at, but they didn't have any record of him ever checking in. Oh boy. <clears throat> After I got off the phone with the hotel, I called his house and spoke with him there about the injured student. Why? What's wrong? The principal's alibi is falling apart. <clears throat> Shinobu may be hidden somewhere within the school even now, what an unbearable thought. What are you doing out here? I could ask you the same question. Some, someone double parked and blocked the gate, so I had to come through here on my way and... Oh my! <laughs> Look at her face expression. That's right, I remember now. That's the reason I had to come through here 15 years ago, too. There was a car out here, blocking the gate, so I ran through here instead. Huh? It was a big black car, I think. Yes, I remember it looked familiar. It wasn't here when I arrived at the school, either. Whoever it was got there after I did. Miss Hayama, I have reasons to believe Miss Shinobu's body was hidden in the school that night. Huh? You say you saw a large black car here at the school when you ran through here. Shinobu may, be, may very well be, have been in that car. <clears throat> oh crap. Shinobu was here that night? Yep. If that's true, then there's only one place she could be. Uzi. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? No, what are you thinking? <laughs> oh, I gotta check the wall. It's possible. <coughs> the criminal must have stuffed her body in that wall and sealed it over with plaster. If that's the case, and I think it's time for another shed with Mr. Jasaki. I think this is where I better get the final, final word from that sh shifty Jenner. <laughs> What's wrong now? On the night of the Kaneda murder, was it really you who plastered the, the wall? Huh? Yeah, of course it was me. You still don't trust me, do you? 
I want to trust him, but... Did you see a large black car anywhere at the school that night? Huh? There was somebody at the school? Why do you keep asking so much about that stupid wall? You still don't trust me, do you? The fact is, I have reason to believe that there is conclusive evidence for the kinetic case in that wall. In other words, the murder weapon may have been hidden man sealed inside, along with Shinobu Asakawa herself. Wh what Mr. Dosaki, have you told me the entire truth up, up until now? Well, no, I mean, not really, I guess. Huh? It was me who plastered the, the wall, but after I laid the plaster, I decided to take a walk and clear my head while I while it dried. I accidentally left my bucket of plaster there, so it's possible somebody could have stuck her in there and resealed it while I while I was away. Huh. You really think she knows what's in the wall? I know I sound suspicious, but I swear I'm telling you the honest truth. Hey, there's something else. The next morning when I went through to get my power drill, I noticed something. It looked like someone had been using my tools. I was sure of it. Hmm. That's what really happened. Well, I never thought anything of it, of it until now. These aren't really the kind of details that ever seems important. <clears throat> I gotta see what's in that wall. Utsugi needs to get to know about this too. Please, find the killer soon. Please, but... Well, I... can't be the principal. It just can't be. You won't do any anything to him, will you? Uh... I don't know. <laughs> so, you believe Shinobu's body is sealed into a wall at the old school building? Well, Uzi, I can see you've worked quite a lot out. I assume you probably have a suspect in mind by now. Lucy, <coughs> I've come to conclusions as well. I know who the owner of the pen is. The question is, do you? There's just one guy that I can think of. Urabe. Correct. We need to be very careful of the principal from here on out. He's very intelligent and could do anything at this point. So let's review. Could the killer really be Principal Rave? Boss, that wall. I know, Uzi. We'll get to it in due time. Right now we need to focus on apprehending Urabe. 
I'm going to be monitoring the situation from the police station. Good work, Goosey. We couldn't have done it without you. I can't believe it. Despite all his recognition, would the principal be nothing more than a common criminal? When he was talking about his grief for Yoko and his trust in Sasaki, I didn't get the slightest suspicion that he was lying. However, if he's the killer, why did he corroborate Tasaki's alibi? Wait, of course, it provided an alibi for himself as well. For all I know, he could have been who had he could have even been planning to reveal the lie if it became a suspect to throw suspicion on Tasaki. The real criminal, Principal Robin. Hang on a second. If all this is true, then Robin must have murdered Genjiro Goro and Yoko as well as Shinobu. The three current murders make sense, but why would he have murdered Kaneda 15 years ago? It doesn't add up. Utsugi Detective Agency? Detective. I'm going to share with you something not many people know. Principal Robin is far from what you think. A long time ago, this so-called Good Samaritarian had a hand in Mr. Kaneda's shady affairs. What? what Who is this? Someone who hates that lowlife from the bottom of his heart. Let me tell you, he's at the school right now. He's what? Hello? They hung up. Oh no! I left a Yumi at the school ball all by herself. She's in danger. Oh boy. A Yumi? You're safe. Huh? What's going on? Well, he lets out a sigh of as relief when he finds a Yumi and Hibino safe in front of the school. Ayumi, did you see the principal anywhere? Uh, no, I didn't see anybody in there but Mr. Hibino. I was in a classroom the whole time though, taking his tests, so I really couldn't be sure anybody else was in, in there or not. <coughs> Mr. Hibino was supervising me to take the tests the whole time. I don't think he'd know either. The principal isn't back yet from his business trip. Really? I just got an anonymous tip at the op office just a minute ago. They say the principal is here right now. Huh? We gotta get the principal to the principal's office. It's locked from the inside. Let's open it up. Lucy rams the door as hard as he can. There, they find Principal Robert face down on his deck desk, lying in a pool of blood. <coughs> but... Principal? Principal Urabe? Wait, what in the world? He's already gone. He appears to have been stabbed. Everything was locked, even the windows. There's an en envelope over there by the body. Let's read it up. Lucy takes the envelope. Inside the envelope, Lucy finds a note written in school letter hand, letterhead. 
To whom it may concern, I dare not call myself an educator any longer, after having allowed myself to commit so many atrocious crimes. You see, I was once nothing more than a henchman in the late Mr. Kaneda's schemes, but before long he started to get in my way. So on the night of November 10th, 15 years ago, I murdered him in cold blood. It would have been a perfect crime had it not been for the single eyewitness, Shinobu Asakawa. To my astonishment, she has seen everything. So, as she tried to escape, I pursue her in my vehicle. It was then that I ran her down and fled the scene with her body in my trunk as fast as I could. All these years I have kept this secret hidden, hoping no one would ever find out. But then, suddenly, two people appeared who knew of my dark past. One was detective by the name of Joko Koshima. I watch helplessly as she uncovers the facts, one by one, inoxorably approaching the truth. The other was Goro Kaneda. It was then that I realized he must have seen me flee after I had murdered his father. This, shocks, this sudden shock was simply too much for me. Fearing my secret would be exposed, I took the matter into my own hands once again. And silenced Joko and Goro before either could reveal what they knew. The fool that I am, I only afterwards realized that these acts would ultimately seal my fate. I only regret I hadn't realized earlier there was no need to hide the truth for so long. And so, I die in shame. Please believe me, for I am but a shell of a man. Forgive me, I was left no other choice. Tarlashi Urabe. Wow. Hardcore. No. no! So, this is it. Principal Rabe of all people was the cold blooded murderer. And so, Usi now realizes the phone call must have come from Rabe himself, a last minute cry for help.